What would the president have to say on Twitter to be kicked off? Well, so first and foremost, we, um, we hold every single account to the same standard, to the same rules, and to the same policies. Where we haven't been great is showing the interpretations of our policies as it pertains to enforcement. Um, if an account were to publicly attack or harass a private citizen, for instance, uh, we would take action. And we would, of course, have conversations with uh, the party involved and, and the abuser, the harasser. But he has said things about certain people. So we do, we do have a, a clause in our terms of service that unfortunately we did not uh, have publicly stated, but we operated internally, which is one of those gaps that I'm, I'm speaking to, around newsworthiness and public interest and keeping content up because of it, it because it is of public interest because there is reporting on it, because it is a record of an action. Um, and this is a subject, subjective um, uh, evaluation by us. And we work really hard to make sure that we are listening to voices and specifically the journalists on our platform to determine newsworthiness and to determine what is public interest and what's not public interest. In some cases, we're going to get it wrong. Um, but as our peers have said, like this is something that is evolving. This is something that's moving very, very fast. We're trying to learn as quickly as possible. And the only way we know how to help build trust in our process is to be transparent as possible around how we're thinking. And I wouldn't give us a high grade at the moment, but we do have the intention internally in the company to fix that. And it's flexing a muscle that we haven't had to flex or 